It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Shane Warren, and Shane had a vision of the future of America. Uh, Shane, tell me, let's start out about the vision of the storm. Approximately a year or so ago, I was uh, sitting on the couch. I thought I had fallen asleep, when in reality, I was in a vision, an open vision. I have a large screen television in my living room. I was sitting on the couch watching television, and again, I thought I was dreaming. As I watched, there was a, a weather broadcast that was on television. And there was a news anchor who said, the most amazing thing is going on right now. It, it's tragic. It's tragic. And they were building this, this news broadcast around this event. And they, uh, he said, normally hurricanes hit on the coastal lines. He said, but there is a hurricane that seems to be spreading down or, or coming across the heartland of America. At that point, he showed a satellite image of America, and I was horrified as I watched a storm covering the northern, from the northern border to the southern border, from east to west, as this massive storm with the eye right over the center of America, a hurricane coming across the center of America. How can that be? Well, it, it, this is how I believe it happened. Immediately it came back to this anchor. The anchor said, we have somebody on the ground in the eye of the storm. We're going to go to him now. They pitched it to a news reporter. This news reporter in the eye of the storm, and as you would see in a hurricane, the wind is blowing violently and they're being tossed to and fro. He said, this is the most amazing thing. I don't understand it. This is not a natural storm. That was his words. He said, this isn't normal. He said, look at what it's raining. And he reached down on the ground and he's picking up and he holds in his hand a fist of $1 bills. He said, this isn't, this isn't natural. It's raining dollar bills. And the anchor and this correspondent went back and forth about the meaning of this dollar bills. He said, I don't understand. It's almost like they're worthless. They're worthless. It was raining dollars. About that time, it came back to the anchor. He said, ladies and gentlemen, another tragedy has hit America. He said, right in the heartland of America, on the New Major Fault, a major earthquake has just hit. And immediately, pictures of devastation show, uh, uh, began to pop up all over America, the heartland of America, along the New Major Fault, as earthquakes cause entire cities to, cr to crumble. And while I was sitting there, I heard a booming voice in behind my ear that said, they have divided my land, now I will divide their land. And Leviticus says that Israel is God's land. He actually says, this is my land. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the, the Word of God goes on to prophesy in Joel, I believe it is, that if we divide His land, that God will divide our land. I, I never realized the the prophetic implications mm -hmm. of that. But I knew immediately in my dream or in this vision that he was speaking about Israel and specifically Jerusalem and all that's going on right now, which tells me that this dream that I've had and all of the issues that are going on with Israel and Jerusalem that's taking place right now, Sid, it tells me that this dream that I had is about to unfold uh, because I heard that. And uh, I saw... I saw the incredible uh, changes in the prices of currency. I saw silver, not gold, but I saw silver begin to drastically uh, increase in value. Not gold, but silver, which to me is, a, is against my natural thinking. I don't really right. fully understand. I'm Most, not an economist. I'm a preacher. Uh, well, I can tell you this. Twenty years ago, I had a dream. I've only had a few dreams in my life in which God has come to me and spoken very, very, not symbolically, very clearly. And he told me the same thing. And that's one reason I'm really listening to what Shane is telling us. Go ahead. I saw with that riots begin to break out. Major cities all over America broke out in riots. People were rioting in the streets. And, and on the sign is, give us our entitlements. Give us our entitlements. And, and it was literally war. I mean, it looked like civil war uh, within our borders, but it was all over the issue of the, the devaluing of money. And then, Sid, immediately I was caught up and I was sitting in a room uh, with world leaders. Uh, I, I can tell you that China was there. Iran was there. Russia was there. And here's what's amazing. Putin was there. Hmm. 
and he just got reelected. So this is going to be soon. This, though. this, in my opinion, this is very soon, or, or it might be taking place now. What you're about ready? I to believe share. it's unfolding in the background, and I believe that that governments, world governments, including right. America, it knows it's getting All ready. Right. To what was going on with this meeting? In this meeting, these world leaders were talking about how to devalue the currency of America by buying oil on another currency, with another currency. And somehow or another that would drive down the value of the American dollar. And uh, when this happened, I realized this storm, as I'm sitting here watching this, I woke up and I realized I wasn't in a dream. I was still sitting up on the couch. I was looking at the television and I realized this was an open vision that God was showing me the storm that's about to come to America. And, and for you listeners that are watching right now, I'm telling you, you need to get ready and turn toward God. It, it, this, this, we are on troubling days. Okay. What is the hope that you also were shown by God? Oh, churches became cities of refuge. And always the government wasn't helping people with need. Churches were all, helping all of a sudden the need. body of Christ stood up like a mighty sleeping giant in the earth and began to I feel the anointing on me right now as I'm me talking too. to you began to, to to minister and people were coming to them and I saw signs and wonders and miracles being poured out all over America. I saw America being shaken as the world couldn't go to the government anymore. They had to come back to to the church. For help. What, what kind of glory did you see going on in the church? What kind of fire? I saw God? literally like cities of refuge. I, I, entire cities became cities of refuge where, it, where the scripture talks about there was rain in one city and not no rain in another mm. city. I saw that as si people were plunging into these cities because there was life there. There was glory there. The presence of God was there. There was peace there. And they were running to that. And revival was taking place.